Do you want to perform a smudge ceremony but you've never smudged before? Watch this video to learn how to do a smudge ceremony while smudging with sage. I'm Mallory Graham from TribalTradeCo.com. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified when we post new videos every week on smudging and the indigenous culture. If you've never smudged before and you want to learn how to do a smudge, then we're here to show you how to do a smudge ceremony in five simple steps. We've helped thousands of people learn how to smudge and about the sacred medicines. So let's get into performing our smudge ceremony. There are five steps to know when learning how to smudge and how to perform your smudge ceremony. The first step for your smudge ceremony is to prepare for your smudge with a bundle or a smudge kit. A smudging bundle typically includes an abalone shell, like this one, or if you don't have a shell, you can substitute it with a copper or metal bowl of some sort, matches to light your sacred medicine, your sage stick or bundle, or you can also use loose sage, or you can use a completely different sacred medicine if you choose. An eagle feather to waft the smoke of the burning medicine. If you don't have an eagle feather, another feather is okay, or you can just use your hand. The second step in doing your smudge ceremony is to set clear intentions for your smudge. Your intention means your purpose for doing your smudge. For example, maybe you just had an argument in your house and you want to get rid of all those negative feelings. You may want to do a smudge ceremony to cleanse yourself or the space around you for a number of reasons. But it's so important to know upfront what you're trying to do with your smudge and why you're trying to do it. Have you ever smudged before? Please share with us in the comments below. Now the third step for your smudge ceremony is to light your sage. Now in this case, I'm not going to use the sage stick or smudge stick. I'm going to use the loose sage instead. So to start it, I'm going to break off little pieces of the sage and place it inside my abalone shell or smudge bowl, whatever it is that you're using. Once you've lit your match, set flame to your sage and place it in the bowl. When you light your sage, let it burn naturally. Don't blow on it. Instead, use the eagle feather to spread the flame around and get your smudge going. Before you smudge anything, smudge your feather first to cleanse it so that it's been purified. You can do a smudge for so many reasons, but the most common is to get rid of the negative energy in the space and replace it with positive energy. So now that we've lit our sage, the fourth step in the smudge ceremony is to fan the smoke towards yourself and smudge yourself. My grandma taught me how to smudge and what she said was, that when you're smudging yourself, you smudge your head first so that you have only positive thoughts, followed by your eyes to help you see good in everything. Then you smudge your mouth to say positive things. Address your heart next to create positive emotions, love, and kindness. Finally, smudge the rest of your body for physical health. When you're smudging yourself, focus on those feelings that you set out as your intentions from the start. If you're not sure what to say during a smudge, watch this video right here on the smudging prayer. Now the fifth step in doing your smudge ceremony is to smudge other areas of the room and focus on what your intentions are with your smudge. Walk the smoke around everything in the room to make sure that all areas are being smudged. The entire time that you are smudging, continue to think positive and good thoughts. When you're finished your smudge ceremony, let the sage burn out on its own. You don't need to light all the sage just as much as you need to complete your smudge and let the sage or whatever sacred medicine you're using burn out on its own without any interference. It's important to let the smoke burn out on its own because the smoke from the smudge is a direct communication line from Mother Earth and the spirit world. Now, a quick recap on what the five steps of the smudge ceremony are. Number one, prepare your bundle. Number two, set intentions for your smudge ceremony. Number three, light your sage. 
Number four, smudge yourself. And number five, smudge your surroundings. Now you can feel absolutely confident when performing a smudge ceremony at your home or somewhere else. To learn more about the sacred medicines, download our free smudging guide at the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.